Hi, I'm Jim Black, pastor of the Milledgeville Brethren Church in Milledgeville, Illinois. And as you probably know by now, Tom Hanks and his wife, Rita Wilson, have been in isolation in Australia after having tested positive for the coronavirus. To help pass the time, Rita made up a fun playlist of music for those dealing with social distancing. And among her song choices included All By Myself, Lonely People, So Far Away, and Right Here Waiting. But the list also includes the song I Will Survive and Amazing Grace. While it's important that we take the COVID-19 seriously, I did appreciate her attempt to bring a smile to people's faces in the midst of their own seclusion with the virus. But the truth is that crises like this one can bring out the worst in humanity. Jim Dennison wrote about this in his blog this past Monday. He mentioned a woman in an Australian supermarket allegedly knifed a man in a confrontation over toilet paper, of all things. A student of Chinese ethnicity was beaten on the streets of London and left with a fractured face. Protesters welcomed returning cruise passengers, none of which was infected, by hurling abuse of words and rocks at them. But these troubling times can also bring out the best in people. NBA players and owners have donated millions of dollars to help those affected with the loss of jobs over suspensions of their games. Other professional athletes are following suit. Locally, people continue to deliver meals on wheels to shut-ins. The Route 40 Cafe will deliver food to any home within 10 miles of town with no delivery charge. There are countless random acts of kindness being done, more than we may ever know, and that's good. Dennison says, one of the ways God wants to redeem this crisis is by showing us how much we need him, but he also wants to redeem it by showing us how much we need each other. Of course, sacrifices might be necessary, especially to help those who might be at higher risk. According to the CDC, Older adults and people with chronic medical conditions such as heart disease, diabetes, and lung disease are at higher risk. I actually meet three of those risk factors. That's why social distancing is so important. We do so not just to keep ourselves from being infected, but to keep us from infecting others. In fact, such sacrificial service is at the heart of the Christian faith. According to Jesus' own words, we prove our love for him by the way that we love one another. And when we serve the least of these, we are serving him. Now, this kind of service means that we have to modify our lives for the sake of us others, adjusting our behaviors. It means we look for practical ways to help those in greater need than ourselves as well. We might purchase a gift card to a restaurant or grocery store to help people who are suffering financially. We can donate to the food pantry. We can offer to pick up groceries or medicines for those who are unable to get out. We can offer child care for a single parent who has to choose between staying home with their child and risk losing their job or going to work for paying their bills. And we can become a national army of prayer warriors for our nation's physical and spiritual well-being. To that end, Allow me to close with a prayer by Dr. Cameron Wiggins of Seattle, Washington. May we who are merely inconvenienced remember those whose lives are at stake. May we who have the luxury of working from home remember those who must choose between preserving their health or making their rent. May we who have the flexibility to care for our children when their schools close remember those who have no options. May we who have had to cancel our vacations remember those who have no safe place to go. May we who are losing our margin money in the tumult of the economic market remember those who have no margin at all. May we who settle in for quarantine at home remember those who have no home. As fear grips our country, let us choose love. During this time when we cannot physically wrap our arms around each other, let us find ways to be the loving embrace of God to our neighbors. In Jesus' name, amen.